Tales from End of the World Original Audio Recordings presents The Last Walk. Cat Stevens' morning has broken played on the speakers in the prison. Matt opened his eyes to the sound of the music. It was execution day. They always play that song on execution day. It was his execution day, and therefore it was his execution song. He got out of his bunk and went to the window. The sun was just cresting the horizon. Tears stood out on his cheeks as he watched. He wanted to scream out, cry, but they had cut his vocal cords when they found him guilty. That was the law. Render the guilty mute so they may not spew their falsities. Hear the footsteps approaching behind him. The guards were coming. Matt turned to face him. The guards stood in their gray military-looking uniforms. Black veils covered their face, and Matt knew those were for him too. He was the dead today, and the living will not look at the dead. Again, it was the law. The guards moved in, and Matt put up his hands. The guards wore white gloves similar to pallbearers. On this day of his execution, they cuffed and chained him and marched him down the hall. Cat Stevens still playing on repeat as he passed guard after guard wearing the veils. The prisoners in their cells who could not have veils simply turned their backs to him as he passed. At the exit door, the veiled guards unchained him and let him out. Outside, the sun is bright in the blue sky. The air is warm. The smell of grass is pleasant. It is his first taste of freedom that he's had in a long time. The mourners of the dead, all in black, wearing their veils, stand on either side of the road leading into the prison doors. The priest, dressed the same as the mourners, stands directly in the road. In his hand is a bell, which he will ring as they walk him down to the field. No one will speak to him, it is the law. No one will speak to the dead unless they are dead themselves. The guards fit Matt into a walking stockade, bolting and padlocking closed. The priest begins to ring the bell as Matt begins to walk, flanked by the guards and the mourners following behind him. The stockade is heavy, and the chain rattles in Matt's ears. The ringing of the bells echoes in his head, and he prays someone will talk to him. Someone, finally. One thing, in all this maddening silence. But no one will transgress the law. Matt falls to his knees under the weight of the silence in the stockade, tears pouring from his eyes and run down his cheeks. The guards lift him, and he goes up back to his feet. They reach the field, and the bell stops ringing. It is a large expanse of grass, small hills and wildflowers. Matt whines in the back of his throat, and the guards take Matt out to the field. The mourners and the priests do not follow. One guard removes his baton from his belt and strikes Matt on the back of his knees. Matt falls to them. The other one removes a round pill from a pouch on his belt and puts it in his Matt's mouth. The guards get ready to force him to swallow it, but Matt swallows it. He needs this to get over with. The guards leave him to join the others outside the field. Matt feels a groan in his stomach as it rumbles, causing his body to shake. He feels something cold rushing through his veins. He does not scream as the flowers burst through his eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. His body shakes for a moment and explodes into grass and flowers. There is a new grassy hill in the field, and it's Matt.
Hey guys, uh, I'd like to thank you for listening if you've made it this far into the video. Uh, I would also like to encourage you to like, subscribe to the channel, help us grow and become something more. Comment and share these videos. I also encourage you to check out our other videos. And please uh, check out all necessary social media links that we add to the description below. And uh, cheers. This is your host.